Hey everyone, I'm Nadia, and in this video we're going to learn how to add a product selection to our order form. In the previous video, we created this t-shirt order form which allows customers to order multiple quantities of a single size. This example works just fine if you're only selling a single product or service, but now I want to give customers the ability to order multiple shirts in multiple sizes, as well as offer a couple of other products. The best way to sell multiple products on the same form is to use a repeating section. If you're not familiar with repeating sections, they're basically just containers that you put other fields inside, much like a regular section. However, repeating sections allow users to duplicate that group of fields as many times as needed. This way you don't have to guess how many fields you'll need to accommodate everyone, and you won't have all that extra clutter on your form. So in this case, all we need to do is move our payment fields into the repeating section. We also need to quickly update the Specify Quantity option to retarget the quantity field. This is simply because when you move fields in and out of repeating sections, or even regular sections, the field technically moves to a different level of the form. And now I can select a t-shirt size, color, and quantity, just like before, but I can also add another repeating item and order multiple t-shirts in different sizes. If we look at our repeating section settings, you'll notice that you can change the item label, which is the title of each repeating section. This title is followed by a number that indicates how many sections you've added. You can also set the minimum and maximum number of items that your customers can add to a repeating section. For example, if you set the minimum limit to three, then customers have to add at least three items to their order before they can submit the form. As I mentioned earlier, I would like to offer a couple of other products besides t-shirts. What I'm going to do is add another choice field to my repeating section named products, and then add all of my products to the choice options. By the way, if you already have a list of items typed out in Notepad, Excel, or some other text editor, you can actually copy paste those items directly into the first choice option. That will automatically populate the choice field options. Next, I'm going to go back to the shirt size field and just clear out those price values and quantity limits since we just added those values to the product field. Now that I've added a few products other than t-shirts, I don't want to show customers the shirt size or color fields unless they want to buy a shirt. So in the settings for those two fields, I'm just going to set the show this field option to win and make sure that they only appear when the t-shirt option is selected from the products field. Now that you've learned how to expand your product options, you can follow along in our next video to learn how to create a full product catalog.